Props to top rank last night. It was a pretty good card. Congratulations to Estrada. Congratulations to Morataya. Congratulations to Oscar Valdez. According to Robin Garcia, Raymond Morataya was offered the Tiafimo Lopez fight and then Tiafimo backed out. This could explain why Raymond Morataya looked a little sluggish at 135 because he's probably preparing for a 140 pound weight cut. And y'all claim Tiafimo Lopez wants all the smoke. You know who the channel's artist says this, but he backs out the Morataya fight. He claims he wants Terrence Crawford, but he doesn't do the certain things to get that fight. But instead of facing a Muratia, Tiafimo is going to face Steve Claggett with a record of 38 and 7, and he's been knocked out once. Clearly, Tiafimo has entered the top rank protection program. How can you go to asking for a Terrence Crawford fight and then saying, okay, I can't get that fight? I guess the next best thing for me is to fight Steve Claggett, who's ranked number 13 by the WBO. And he wants to talk about Terrence Crawford fighting injured fighters, which he does himself, and he's fighting Steve Claggett. So you went from Crawford to Murataya to a Claggett. Make it make sense. Now, the only thing he brings to the table is 25 more pounds. Everybody's not jealous, and everybody doesn't want a payday because they call you out on something you're doing, specifically, you know, about Canelo. But I've never heard in the last four or five years fighters make such a big deal about weight. We have weight classes. You, gotta be a man. you just gotta be a man, right? If you got another man coming to your house, coming in your sport, whatever you want to call it, bro. Benavidez is disrespecting him. He's telling him to throw some balls. He's doing all of that, bro. And if you being Canelo Alvarez, and if you have any pride in your dignity and you and your skills, I don't care. I don't care. Step up and face that man, bro. You fought me ball. This is another guy, you know. Fight, man, fight Benavidez, man. Fight Benavidez, get it over with. Um, it gotta happen in September, because I don't see, if it don't happen in September, bro, it ain't gonna happen. Tim Bradley's plea to Canelo, step up to the plate, be a man, fight David Benavidez. And as always, I have to put a disclaimer in there. This is not me saying this, this is Tim Bradley. So if your fanboys get offended, Go step to Tim Bradley, do not step to me. Tim Bradley believes this fight should happen in September because he believes if it doesn't happen in September, it will not happen at all. I disagree with that, of course, because I think if David Benavidez stays at 135 and becomes undisputed, that fight could happen next year. Tim Bradley also says he picks Canelo to beat David Benavidez because of his counter-punching, first-class counter-punching ability. And he also says, the longer the fight goes, the more chance Benavides to give Canelo a run for his money because Canelo does not punch in volumes anymore. And we also question Canelo's gas tank. Benavides has a good gas tank so far, but my question to Tim Bradley is, how much punishment has Benavides take taken? He hasn't took too much punishment in these fights and how many power punches has he faced? Now with Canelo's power going to the body and head, how much of a gas tank is Benavides gonna have in the championship rounds? 10, 11, 12, after taking a punishment, the first nine rounds, we don't know. And that's one of the questions that will be answered if this fight takes place. See, people question Canelo's gas tank, but they do not question his chin. He has one of the best chins in boxing. And we know Benavides is not a one-punch knockout artist. And I have to agree with Andre Ward when it comes to weight. I think the weight's gonna hurt Benavides more than help him if he faces Canelo Alvarez after move up to 175. That weight cut is gonna be brutal. But anyway, leave your thoughts or comments below. Let me know what you think about Tim Bradley's comments. By the way, I'm picking Tim Zhu to stop from door tonight. And I'm also picking Isaac Cruz to beat Roley. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.